Hey, good morning. Another day here in Florida and another day of pretty poor weather. It's chilly and it's windy and overcast. I'm hoping to at least hear some birds gobble this morning. Me and Doug have split up again. He went to the area. He saw a hen yesterday afternoon and he's just going to deer hunt them. It's a little spot that he thinks they're traveling. I haven't seen many people out. I guess they're I guess they're avoiding the weather, just staying home, sleeping in. But I've got a limited amount of time, a few days, to try and get it done. So I'm gonna be out here every chance I get. Anyway, it's about an hour before sunrise, so I'm just gonna sit here and this little road trail it goes back in the woods to a little creek, and I'm gonna start here as it gets light and just try and strike a bird and work that creek work these roads, these trails, and see if I can find a bird. I'm not positive it's a gobble that sound like one like a mile away. Just you just hear the little little reverbs, but could have been anything. It had a gobble-ish type essence to it. tracks, turkey tracks on this road. No boot tracks. Sure does look pretty back in here though. I'm hoping as I get closer to the creek that's where the birds are at. It's fairly open in the woods here as you can see around me. Most of the woods in this area are thick. I'm sure the turkeys are going into it but it's hard to hunt them. We're just getting started though. Been walking this little dirt road, kind of keeping track of sign, marking it on Onyx, and back back that way a few hundred yards, the tracks kind of tapered off. And then we ran into this thicker stuff, shorter stuff. Now we're getting more into these bigger pines again. I'm hoping to start seeing more turkey tracks. Well, there's one right there actually. It's like a little hen. I'm gonna make a call here in just a moment. <laughs> Moving on. really worried about being quiet. I'm more worried about getting through this to the other side. It says there's a quick creek on the creek. 
says there's a creek on the map. I haven't seen nothing but just a tangle of brush. You know, turkey isn't here. You know that. Looks like higher ground right up here. I'm just gonna get through the rest of the swamp here. Doesn't mean it's not gonna be any thicker. At least I don't have to tromp through water. Shane, what were you thinking? We'll see how deep it gets. I'm gonna turn this off so I can walk easier. Oh, would you look at here. Open woods. Thank goodness. down the trail here and meet up with Doug. Quite a quite a walk ahead of me, but I'm gonna call as I go, of course. I see some fresh turkey tracks in here. Doug with me. We met up and went and got something to eat. As usual, it was my idea to kill these turkeys. Well, they don't know about it yet, so I'm getting to that. We we came back from eating, we rode around, we spotted a couple of gobblers, and uh, they were out in a little field on private, and we circled around, and we're a few hundred yards from it, and we're gonna make our way closer and try to call them into the public and see what we can do when they're by themselves. They look like they're in a mood for love. Yeah, in a mood for love. And hopefully they love my turkey collar. <laughs> That's on video. That's straight in my back. Huh? Yeah, it's looking good. Yeah, we'll call them right into this. We'll call them right into here. We can sit here for a little while. Yeah. Even if they don't make a sound, we'll, we'll, I'll call aggressively for a little bit and make them come looking. I think we should sit here for a couple of hours because yeah. I think they'll come. Yeah, they're headed this way. So folks, we uh, we slept in here and got set up on an old fire break about 100 yards from the property line. The gobblers are probably 250 yards away. I'm gonna start calling and see what we can get for a response. Shoot with the three 
power gear. See this crap right here. Sit tight and see what happens. I'll just sit tight. Let's see what the birds are gobbling out here. But you can get a shot. Oh, yeah, I'll shoot them right through here. Okay. That's uh, what we should do. Just wait a minute. Yeah, I'm not going to call it more. See what they do. Don't get closer. We could go down. We could go down the fire line and set up again. Yeah. Let's see it quietly. See what they do. Oh, it's got me excited, man. My heart rate's picking up. Look at my, my fingers. Got the trembles. Mm. And I'm telling where they pop out, so keep your heart to the left also. In case they start weaving through here. Jake, yep. Did you hear it? Tuck, tuck. They're straight that way. Doug and I were down that way. Bird was gobbling here. And we're gonna take this little fire break down here and try to just get to one side of them. Hey. Do it right there. I'm gonna walk. Hey, wait till I get about 50 yards ahead of you. You hear me? Wait till I'm about 50 yards ahead of you. Doug's gonna stay back and call. I'm gonna get up here. I can pinpoint his gobbler spurs. It doesn't take much walking away from him for them to sound much farther away. set up right here earlier they were right out there in front of us they're way back that way now where where we first saw them i think okay. i think we take the trail back to the truck yeah go to put eyes on and then we got a little bit of time if we can you want to slip in they got a hand with them now don't they i wonder if that was what cut earlier when they gobbled because i heard a pop, pop, Yeah, they're way over there. Let's go hop in the truck real quick before they get out of the field and see if they have a hen with them. All this calling made them gobble up a hen, a real hen. I can drop you off on that fire trail in the morning. No, you can just drop me off on that road there. Where are you? Why? Are you not going to hunt? Yeah, I'm going to hunt. Where are you going back to your spot? I don't know. The way it's going, I might. Out here trying to roost one for tomorrow morning. I got some birds spotted near public they were in a private field but it's surrounded by public so i may go after those in the morning i'm just worried that they're going to be roosted on the private and stay on the private but 
this right now is my only option. I know that, I know there's birds there. I don't bother. It's all three gobblers and a bunch of hens. A couple of the gobblers are by themselves and it seems to be one dominant gobbler out there strutting to the hens. Came down this little little path and uh, see boot tracks from other hunters, but there's some fresh gobbler tracks right on top of their boot tracks going that way. So he may be in here. I don't know how old these boot tracks are, but I imagine they're only they're either yesterday or today. So that's the freshest sign I've got of a gobbler, other than the ones I saw. So I'm gonna owl hoot and coyote hoot and see if I can get something to gobble in here. This weather's just been horrible ever since Mississippi. They keep forecasting better conditions, but every day, same thing. Overcast, drizzle, cool temperatures, breezy. I'll be glad when I get to see the sun again. Let's make some hoots. We're just past sunset. We are um, one minute into past fish, official sunset. Birds don't want to gobble. Can't get any birds to gobble. Got to come up with a game plan for tomorrow morning. I might go after those birds that uh, Doug and I played with earlier today. Guess we'll see you guys tomorrow morning. Still dealing with the rain here in Florida. Rain just ended a little bit ago. Checked the radar. The only rain in the whole state was right on top of me. Seems to be following me everywhere I go. Anyway, this is kind of a last ditch effort. I'm leaving today at some point to go meet my buddy Clay DeBose and hunt some different public for the next two days. But last day with Doug, he's he's hunting another area. We're just kind of staying split up, trying to cover more ground, see if we can get on a bird. Yesterday, Doug and I were in here and we had some birds in the field on private and we were trying to call them into public with no success. And it's just a little chunk across the road there that we think we could call them into. The rest of it's really thick. So this morning I came on this side of the road and the woods are much better, larger tract of open woods. It's a huge, I mean, the public wraps around this private, private so I can move all around it. But this has the more suitable woods. We'll see how the morning goes. We got plenty of room over here and maybe there'll, there'll be a different bird over here, a goblin that we don't know about, that we didn't see in the fields. Just 
That was what he was going to do. Pitch right down to the pilot. I figured that's what that bird would do, being that he was roosted not far from the private, that he would just pitch down and land over there in the field. I guess I'm about 80 yards from the private. I think I'm gonna move back, back towards the way I came in. The woods are more open. I'm just set up and wait for a while, see if they'll come in the woods to investigate. This is too thick right here. I'm not gonna be able to call him because there's no way. He'll sit right out there in the field and gobble his head off. He won't walk into this mess. Not unless he was coming in here on his own without me calling. It's not a lot of visibility, but I do. to the property line just so I could see if that gobbler was out here. <clears throat> Fence line's about 20 yards away, or 15. So far I just seen that hen. I was trying to pinpoint where that gobbler was and then I can try and pull him into the woods back up from the property line, but so far it's just that hen I saw. He's gobbled. It's twice he's gobbled now way off that direction. He may be across the road, so I'm gonna head that way. These field birds that hang out on private are fun and also aggravating to hunt at the same time. Odds of success are very low, but when it happens, it's, it's a great feeling. I don't typically like to hunt these types of birds, but there ain't been no goblin anywhere. Just nice to be around a bird and hear that gobble. Kind of a desperation uh, strategy at this point. out there tending to the cows and spooked a bird up in the tree and she sat up there for a little while that little hen did and then pitched down here. Let's see if I can find something dry here. That'll have to do. A little smudgy. I'm done back here. figured it's worth a shot. At least I got to hear some gobbling. The farmer came out there and run all the turkeys off. I don't know which way they went. I saw a hen flopping tree near me and then she flew down in the woods. I don't know where the gobblers are at. And this freaking rain, well, it's a rain cloud that just, it's been hovering over this area all week. I've never seen in my life seen rain just constantly affect a small area like this. Nowhere else in the state do they have to deal with it right now. It's just this one little area. It just keeps streaming off the ocean, going right to this spot. That's it. So I'm gonna pack things up. I'm headed to another part of the state. And hopefully the rain doesn't follow me. Perfect timing. You just get here? I just walked up. You, you have any fun? It won't stop raining. Oh no. I did have a gobbler roosted. I walked in there, sat down with my back to the property line about 50 yards behind me. I went a little too far in than I thought, and I was thought, thinking the bird's gonna be to my left. Just getting light and ow, right over my shoulder, right on the property line. Wow. And I'm like, ain't no way this is gonna work. So I sat down anyway and made a few yelps. He gobbled, he gobbled like eight times. And then I watched him go straight down to the field. I'm like, I'm done. I'm going north. Heck with this The um, rain. It was raining, no gobbling, windy over here. So I went to where I've been hunting. And that guy I talked to yesterday and his son they mm. parked right where I was usually parked. So I went down and around. They parked know. where you've been going? Yeah. So 
I went on down to that dead end gate, and the Joker was gobbling up on that field. On the private? Private. That's where they were. You know what I think it is? I think when it's just a big weather, windy weather, rainy. They just hang the private fields. They just go to a field where they can. Yep. They can't be snuck up on. That's what those birds all day yesterday when we rode by. Every time we rode by, they're in the fields. Well, let's go eat. Yeah, I'm going to eat and I'm not coming back out today. I'm not either. This is crap. I'm going to pack up and go. Me. Me too. Well, that's it. From down here, I'm going to go meet up with Clay DeBose, my buddy I hunted with a little bit last year, and see what he has in store screw for Doug, me. I'm going where there's birds. Yeah, screw Doug. I'm going where there's birds. I bet he's a better guy than you. Yeah, you're going to have a lot more fun. <laughs>